The project my class has been working on is essentially working with a group called the Word Trying Collective. They're a group of artists in Muncie, and we've been working with them to raise money for a mural on the back of the Mark III tap room. On the Mark for the City is a collaborative mural project that we are working on with lots of different folks in our community. It's going to be located on the side of the Mark III tap room, which is Indiana's longest running LGBT nightclub. And the idea for the project was inspired as a response to the Orlando Pulse nightclub shooting. We wanted to do something to show that our community is a place where no matter what your background, no matter how you identify, you are welcome and it's a place where you can thrive and build a life. So it's been really exciting to collaborate not only with the downtown Muncie community, but also with the campus community. And we were really lucky to work with Kristen McAuliffe's COM 450 class on this project. And so they've done a lot of the back end stuff that's maybe not as visible, but that's really important. And that to us as artists is maybe not the most interesting part. So it was a really natural and I think mutually beneficial partnership to work with them. We did a like a dinner speaker combo um, downtown at Cornerstone. Uh, we had a speaker talk about public art and then we had um, a dinner uh, from Two Cats uh, Cafe here. Um, we had um, an open bar and um, a, we also had kind of like a um, auction uh, type thing with uh, items that we had gotten donated from around the community. Really working on a project that all of us had a lot of stake in and really cared about was something that I thought was um, really interesting and gave a lot to me. I really care about this project, but so do they. And so how do we negotiate who's going to do what in order to make this project the best it could be? When I came into the class, I was expecting like, oh, I really like art and advocacy. And I knew that um, they had gotten the inspiration from the Pulse shooting and I'm like very into LGBT issues. So I was like, okay, that's what I'm gonna get out of this. But what I really got out of it um, was not so glamorous, you know? Um, you know, you realize how not glamorous fundraising is or um, you know trying to advance the cause um, and I think it's important though to like realize um, because they're even though the end goal is really cool um, there's a lot of things along the way that is really that's really hard work and um, it's not exciting or fun all the time. I enjoyed the hands-on aspect a lot you get the substance but you also go out and you apply what you've learned and we got to actually do that and I actually got to apply everything I've learned through my years at Ball State into this project because this was the only class where we actually got to go out and talk to other professional individuals, try to get corporations to support this collective in downtown. It was really nice to be able to work with a team of students who I could trust to do professional level work. And when you're working on a huge project like this, there are lots of little details that can get lost or um, can seem like not a huge priority, but actually are a big priority. I was really pleased with the level of professionalism that they displayed. I was excited to see that they were open to our ideas. They seemed really open to collaborating and to taking our feedback and revising the products that they had already put together. And overall, it was, I think, a really great experience for both our team and for her students. Long after I graduate and should I move out of Muncie, I'll know that I sort of had a place in making the mural happen. Um, I'm really excited for the mural. I'm glad that it's going to be up there. And to know that I sort of helped it come to fruition really is enjoyable to me.